here. Oh shit, now they're coming through. No need to fear those witches' tricks. I've got a turtle stone. Down one. Lagging. Some Maxi, some art. Sorry, art. We've got a bunch of man here. Grab him, boys. You'll regret it. Ah, come on. You'll regret it. No need to fear those witches' tricks. I've got a turtle stone. My God, my God. No, no, no. A fine mess you have here. Dwarves stealing so how's it going? Everything all right at the house now? <laughs> hey! Hey! Bah. My god! Never mind. Let's get... Let's just enter the end. I'm really bad at fighting. What's down here? Something. Oh, yeah, there's fighting. There's some beaver. Smith. Oh, I probably could know where exactly. <laughs> The barber is. He said on the uh, on the other side of the blacksmith. So probably in here. Hello, Gaspar. Einer Gausel. Greetings. What brings you here, White Wolf? Make yourself at home, please. Thank you. Each other. I've heard, or rather read much about you, in the letters of the Rivian Diaspora. Well, nice to meet you. Einar Gausel, fundamentally a trader in old curios, although I also concern myself with a non-human community. Uh, I'd like to change my hairstyle. I don't know. Hold on. Let me. Nope, that's not it. Hold on. Just a second. Let me change my armor. Oh, test three. How much armor this my quilt ladder has? Only one. Oh, but that one is epic. That one is of epic proportions. But at least... Oh! Why did I lose life? I don't know. Mind if I have a look at your books? Take your... Uh, no, 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 no. I just want to change my hairstyle. Low half ponytail, let out, single braid back. Would raftmans do? Full ponytail. Shave temples and ponytail. Uh, 
I don't know what the hell everything is. Like, do I need to... Okay, let's look what this means. Witcher 2 hairstyles. I don't want to pay... I don't know if I can choose and then pay or not choose and then pay or something like that. We'll see. I have IGN here and I'll check what it is. Uh, what's the squirrel's tail? Screw your cookies. Uh huh, okay. Elven style is full on out. Dwarven braid. Okay. 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 Let's go with a Cintrian pendulum. Oh, now I can pay. Uh, uh, but I can't see what it is. Well, yeah, 40 gold. Why not? We'll be shaving. There we go. The gods have no love for your kind. Which kind? Who are you talking to? Uh, Einer, because you're friendly. Let me have a look at your book. Uh, none of the humans and flotsam are organized. We aren't, but we aid each other as best we can. I mainly collect taxes and announce the commandant's dispositions. That'd make you a prime target for Yorvith. <laughs> you're correct on that account. He's warned me many times, and I've explained the need for my function to him just as many. Both in vain. It seems we've agreed to disagree. Well, the sword is his calling, the pen is mine. Hence, no meeting of the minds. It wasn't always this hard. Turned sour when several elven lassies disappeared. We lost our trust in the humans, and the Scoia'tael ceased trusting us. Did they turn up? The women? No. I believe Necker's killed them. I remember Morel of the White Hands. She and her lover made a beautiful pair. Okay. Books. Books in Flotsam? I wouldn't have thought it a profitable enterprise. Hey, Many foreigners come through here. Sometimes they buy books. Sometimes they have tomes to sell. Yesterday, for example, Lady Sheila de Tansevo purchased items for a sum equal to my yearly dealings. Did she buy anything interesting? De Vermis Mysteries, the Exeter Treaties, complete and unabridged, plus a very expensive volume I'd rather not mention. I should add, as generosity must be praised, that she made a donation to the community. Specifically to the fund for widows and orphans. Okay. Thanks. Godspeed. There we go. Whoa. Okay. Let's. Well, let's change armor again because this one is not that good. Oh, nope, that's not armor. Inventory. The other one is better. Far better. Like, well, it's got resistance and bleeding and vitality. Well, let's just run around for th with this one first. Ah, oh, doggy! Doggy! Oh. oh. Sorry, doggy. Didn't mean to push you. Let's talk Greetings. with the guys inside. Greetings. There. How's it living with Roach's soldiers? Splendid. I know every shit joke that anyone's ever thought of. Plus, I've learned how to burp out the official title of the Emperor of Nilfgaard without reaching for beer. Shorty's told me about his 16 children, all named after Temerian troop divisions. And I know his nickname has nothing to do with his manhood. Nice to know that you care, though. Glad to see you. I think I actually like them. They're good people. One of them even proposed to me. Who's the brave man? <laughs> Sorry, that's a secret. And here I thought Roach's boys had an ounce of respect for me. Okay. The massacre in Livia came back to me, I remember. The angry mob murdering non-humans, the young boy with a pitchfork. Anything else? Dad, or 
a state close to it. I'm not sure. I felt life draining out of me. Uh, I was there. I arrived a moment later. Too. Don't worry, Triss. They're only memories. We have bigger problems to tackle now. Something tells me that in recovering my memory, I'll find out a lot about what we're dealing with now. Okay. Thanks. But... Sorry, don't... Uh, don't... Okay. Can you stand? Look strong. Care for the little contest? Sure. I was always good at it, so let's. The last time I won, I don't know how does this work again. So I just need to keep my thing up here. It's working, it's working, it's working, it's working, it's working, it's working. Bam! Too strong for me. Here's what you're owed. You ought to give Wiry Wilkes a shot. I will. Wiry Wilkes. You'll have an easy time with me. Let's arm wrestle. I'll put everything. Everything. I'll handle everything you throw at me. Approach it. There we go. Easy. Where's the Strong other one? Strongman, you are. Here's your coin. You should take on Big Max. Oh, I will. Whoever Big Max is. You're Big Max. No, you're Big Max. Big Max. You're a strong lad, but I'm no wimp either. Wanna take me on? Sure. Let's do it. I'll bet thirty gold. I can take you. Take you, sucker. Come on, show me what you got. See? Easy. Just a matter of concentration. There we go. By Veo Patis' balls, you're strong. You're winnings. There's someone else. No one's beaten him yet. Who? Bartholomew Bargy. You'll find him in the village. I will. Soon enough. Guys. <laughs> Damn, that was close. Inkeep! Vodka! Triss Merigold. Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. Blood got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltest died. And the dragon. Was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. No, 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 no. What's with the wedding? No wedding, Zoltan. The Breckenrigs broke off the engagement because some limp prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. I would be Poppin' Law refused to let a rebel firebrand join the family. And keep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grand Master died. Bob Sultan, an absolutely grand Dublin, a pair of Garibaldi crack owls, and as a gift for Eudora, a jade stone as big as my fist. You were broke as a joke by the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. Next day, we went over to the Breckenrigs. They welcomed us in, sat us down, and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know-how over any other. And that went on until dinner. Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, they served the soup. You could have held a pen drop. Old Brecken grows and he says, A real dwarf works a mine. Not Chase's fame on the battlefield. You'll never believe this, girls, but they served duck blood soup. It was the blackest tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. Eat, Breckenrick says. Then proceeded to slop two full bowls of the shite. Oh, goat. Hope his mind keeps in on his head. Okay. But why is it so dark? Why is my ma why is it 